Earth has a second moon. It's me, provisionally designated. 2016 HO3. Kamul Abrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may have changed with new facts that we can avoid. I was first spotted in April of 2016 by Pan Stars. Asteroid Survey Telescope You now see This telescope is located on Haleakala In Hawaii Which is all part of the Haleakala Observatory When I was discovered orbiting the Earth in a weird way Kamu'u Alava was the name they gave me Even though it is extremely hard to say I am very small compared to Earth's moon Measuring 164 feet across I'm tiny, it's true I circle the Earth in a repeating corkscrew-like trajectory Never closer than 40 to 100 times The 239,000 mile distance of your moon you see I'm odd and this is why I don't reflect brightly in certain infrared frequencies or to the eye Like other asteroids do I'm a quirky satellite and this is true Because of this researchers are starting to agree I may be a chip off your known moon flying free Basically what you're seeing is a flying silicate caused by micrometeorite impacts in the space environment. It's possible when space rocks hit the moon at a high degree. When I was ejected into space, I am lunar debris. I am a near-Earth object also known as NEO, part of a group of near-Earth asteroids called Apollo. I'm an object in a specific type of coal orbital configuration with a planet. I'm called a quasi satellite. I know it's weird, but I didn't plan it. Earth has a second moon. It's me, provisionally designated. 2016 HO3. Kamul Abrava is thought to be an asteroid, but that may change with new facts that we can avoid
My appearance is gray and white You only see one half of my surface Whether it's day or night I'm Mikey, Mikey, I have an official new moon Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Mikey, Mikey I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be In the month of April in 2015 Is when I was noticed by Hubble's Whitefield Camera 3 The Southwest Research Institute led by Mark Boo scientists in the world to ever notice me I'm very hard to see because I'm in the Kuiper belt and my charcoal colored surface certainly doesn't help as 20, 15, 13, 64, 72, 1 is what I was provisionally designated but not much fun they officially nicknamed me with the name MK2 I'll tell you more about me after the chorus you'll hear Mikey, I have an official new moon Let me introduce MK2 To all the world and you Hello, I'm MK2 A satellite of Mikey, Mikey I was noticed one year ago Now an official moon I be It's estimated my diameter's 100 miles across That's an estimate only from a bunch of astronomers I'm 1300 times more faint than dwarf Mikey, Mikey when a telescope gets closer, they will see me more clearly. I'm 13,000 miles from my door planet, so bright. And I'm called a moon because I'm a natural satellite. Maki Maki had what scientists thought were dark, warm spots. Now they think it was me making those warm dots. I'm Maki Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Mikey, Mikey I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be I'm Mikey, Mikey, I have an official new moon Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Mikey, Mikey I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon Sun. 
so that we can all thrive. I am T O I fifty six one B. One of the oldest rocky planets discovered, you'll see. TOI 561B. I am an exoplanet in the Milky Way galaxy. TOI 561B. Also known as Super Earth, soon you'll also agree. I am TOI 561B. My surface is extremely hot due to my star's proximity. TOI 561B was discovered in the year of 2020 by the Transmitting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. Also known as TESS, it sees things way out of sight. TOI 561B was discovered in the Milky Way galaxy with an estimated age of 13 billion years the milky way galaxy is super old i do agree my estimated age is 10 billion years that makes me one of the oldest rocky planets discovered with cheer i am around 280 light years away i'm a third bigger than the earth i do convey I get close when I orbit my G-type star It takes me 10.5 hours to orbit once because I'm not too far My mass is 1.59 of the Earth's That's one of the reasons I'm so unique for what that's worth Lauren Wise's team is researching me She's the team leader at the University of Hawaii it's unlikely any life can survive on me With a surface temperature of 3630 degrees That's roughly twice as hot as molten lava on Earth In Fahrenheit since my discovery and my birth I'm tidally locked to my G-type star in motion I have a permanent day side that's likely home to a magma ocean I am TOI 561B One of the oldest rocky planets discovered you'll see TOI 561B I am an exoplanet in the Milky Way galaxy TOI 561B Also known as Super Earth Soon you'll also agree I am TOI 561B My surface is extremely hot due to my star's proximity We are the Earth and the Moon And you will learn really soon You can fit the planets in our solar system Between us, this is true We are the Earth and the Moon We meant to tell you for a while The average distance between us We will explain to you with a smile The average distance between the Earth and the Moon is 382,500 kilometers Here's the other seven planets fit between us explaining who they are with some cool features I am Mercury, the first planet from the Sun I'm the second hottest planet on my run my average diameter, we do know, is 4,879 kilometers Add these up as they are shown I am Venus, the hottest planet, and the second from the sun I have an average diameter of 12,104 kilometers in the solar system 
Hi, I am Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. You should know I have an average diameter of 6,771 kilometers as I did show. My name is Jupiter, the largest planet in from the sun. I'm number five. My average diameter is 139,822 kilometers as I thrive. I'm the planet with the prominent rings. The sixth one called Saturn. My average diameter is 116,464 kilometers while I turn. I am Uranus. I am the seventh planet from the solar system's sun. I have an average diameter of 50,724 kilometers. I'm a frozen one. I am Neptune, the eighth and last planet in the solar system, as far as we know. I have an average diameter of 49,244 kilometers. I'm blue as shown. Our total planet diameter size when added up is 380,008 kilometers we share. We still have 2,492 kilometers of space to spare. We are the Earth and the Moon. And you will learn really soon. You can fit the planets in our solar system between us. This is true. We are the Earth and the Moon. We meant to tell you for a while the average distance between us we will explain to you with a smile earth has four major geological subsystems i will teach you in this song i hope you learn and listen geosphere atmosphere hydrosphere and biosphere are four Start with geosphere, all Earth's materials and mass It's comprised of all these parts that you'll be learning in my class The solid iron inner core is a bit smaller than the moon The nickel iron alloy outer core is liquid, it is true The mantle is a layer between the crust and outer core Mostly made of minerals and silicate rock Let's learn some more Which brings us to the crust and Let's move on to the hydrosphere, it's a major one as well. It includes all forms of Earth's water, now isn't that swell? Oceans, lakes, and rivers, and our water vapor too, are what make up the hydrosphere, you learn something new. The biosphere's the final of the four major groups, including anything that's living that also includes you. Microbes, animals, plants, birds, and insects alike. Four major geological sub 
systems I will teach you in this song I hope you learn and listen Earth has four major geological subsystems I will teach you in this song I hope you learn and listen Did you know the place you call home is a habitable place in space called the Goldilocks Zone? It's a place in space, a certain distance from our star, where liquid water could be found. Guess what? It's where you are. Goldilocks zone is a habitable zone in an area around a star you know. The zone is not too hot and it's not too cold for liquid water to exist so life can grow. There is only one planet we know so far that is teeming with life, of course. That planet that we're sure can sustain real life has a well-known name. It is the Earth. If the Earth were to move as far as Pluto, the sun would be the size of a pea. The oceans and atmosphere on Earth would immediately freeze. But if Earth moved to the position of planet Mercury, the Earth's water would quickly boil away. There would be no more life you see. The Goldilocks Zone is a habitable place where Earth sits from the sun. Allowing water to stay liquid, liquid water's the source of life, that's how life on Earth begun. Stars come in different sizes, masses, and temperatures throughout space. Size and temperature of a star determines the Goldilocks Zone's place. Stars that are smaller and much cooler than the sun have a habitable zone much closer to their star on its run. Stars that are hotter, much larger, and more massive than the sun have their habitable zone much farther. This concludes our fun. Did you know? The place you call home is a habitable place in space called the Goldilocks Zone. It's a place in space, a certain distance from our star, where liquid water could be found. Guess what? It's where you are. Here's a moon-sized comparison in our solar system We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit My name is Tethys, I'm one of Saturn's 82 moons My radius is 531 kilometers, it is true I am Dion, I orbit Saturn, you do see My radius is 561 kilometers, that is me Ariel is my name, Uranus is what I orbit My radius is 578 kilometers, I'm third on the list Hi, I'm Umbriel, Uranus is where I'm from My radius is 584 kilometers, I am spun I'm the moon of Sharon, I float in orbit Pluto radius is 606 kilometers, this I do know I'm Iapetus, a moon of Saturn Radius of 734 kilometers as I turn Oberon is my name, outermost moon of Uranus 761 kilometers is my radius I am Rhea, Saturn's second largest moon Radius of 763 kilometers, see you soon Here's a moon-sized comparison in our solar system We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit not Titania, the largest moon of Uranus 788 kilometers is my radius The name is Triton 
the largest moon of Neptune. I'm 1,353 kilometers in radius in this tune. Europa is frozen and the moon of Jupiter. My radius is 1,560 kilometers. I am the moon of the planet Earth. My radius is 1,737 kilometers for what it's worth. Hello, I'm Io, the strangest moon of Jupiter with a radius of 1,821 kilometers. I'm Callisto, I orbit Jupiter, you see. My radius is 2,410 kilometers, that's all on me. Titan is my name, Saturn's my claim to fame. 2,574 kilometers is my radius, I claim. I'm gonna meet the largest moon in the solar system. System. Jupiter is what I orbit, yeah, that's where I'm from. My radius is 2,634 kilometers now. Let's listen to the chorus while the moons take a bow. Here's a moon size comparison in our solar system. We're happy if you'd shed some light on us until we are done. We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit. We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit. Here's a theory of how the Earth was formed, so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played. Almost five billion years ago, there was only our sun, which was a newborn star surrounded by dust was how it begun. Over time, this dust began to slam into one another due to gravity pulling dust and rocks that formed earth over millions of years into an orb not a box they say four and a half billion years ago earth was a fireball that's right with surface temperatures over 2000 degrees and fahrenheit at this point there was no air just carbon dioxide nitrogen and water vapor making it hot and toxic when the earth began our boiling ball of liquid rock was slammed by a young planet this planet's name was thea it was size of Mars as you see it. The blast wave from this collision sent trillions of tons of debris, which over time was pulled back in to circle the Earth by gravity. This giant ring around the Earth was made of red hot dust and rock, eventually formed our moon. We see today, I know it's a shock. Let's speed up millions of years to see how water formed. About 3.9 billion years ago, Earth was hit by a meteor storm. Inside each meteor, scientists think there were small crystals. Each crystal held tiny droplets of water inside their shells. Over the 20 million years that these meteors fell, pools of water started to form on the cooling crust. I do tell, the water on our Earth is billions of years old now, you see, and may have traveled millions of miles to be consumed by you and me. Let's speed up hundreds of millions of years to find the Earth covered in water with tiny islands peeking out while the core remained much hotter. This hot core pushes molten rock up and out the Earth's new crust. When the lava cools, it forms the land we know as it builds and thrusts. Over time, these land masses start to collide and eventually form our continents we know today do still transform. Here's a theory of how the Earth was formed, so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played. How did Earth get its atmosphere we have today? There are three basic atmospheric hypotheses still used to this day. The first atmosphere was made up of hydrogen and helium gas. These molecules move so fast they escape Earth's gravity into space at last. The second was made of lots of volcanoes releasing water as steam and carbon dioxide, hydrogen, sulfate, ammonia, and methane science agreed. The third and current atmosphere is made up of this. You will see plants take in carbon dioxide and give off oxygen to you and me. All animals take in oxygen and give off CO2. Also volcanoes and burning stuff produces this like fossil fuels. We burn too many fossil fuels and have too many factory farms. All this carbon dioxide we produce is doing our earth harm. It's up to us to change the way we consume and create energy. If you start to make changes now our planet will change you will see. Please do your part to save the earth to improve your future now. We're capable of change. Go make us all proud. Here's a theory of how the earth was formed so 
so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played. You're so smart and important, so believe in what you can do. Make a change and set the stage in Earth's future for you. We're astronomical objects brought to you here by Psy. Some within Neptune's orbit, others trans-Neptunian we fly. We're astronomical objects brought to you here by size We all orbit the sun that may come as some surprise I'm Phoebe, an irregular satellite of Saturn I be My alternative name is Saturnine, you can see Discovered in 1899 by William Pickering My diameter is 213 kilometers while I do my thing I'm 10199 Caraclo, an asteroid with rings the largest Confirmed small body of the outer solar system, I think. I'm possibly a dwarf planet with a measured diameter of 232 kilometers, I'm sure. I'm 38628, who ya, yeah, a minor planet in your system. Or trans Neptunian object is my technical term as I'm spun. You can find me in the Kuiper Belt in the outer solar system. My diameter is 406 kilometers, how fun. I'm 2000. 18 BG 18 of this I am sure a trans Neptunian object don't leave there is more first observed in 2018 by three astronomers 500 kilometers is my known diameter my name is Vesta I'm a minor planet you now know I'm one of the largest objects in the asteroid belt I do show I'm probably the second largest asteroid after Ceres I have a mean diameter of 500 25 kilometers, you see. I'm 2014 UZ 224, a trans Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet, but the IAU hasn't decided yet. Out in the Kuiper belt, I was discovered. I am sure 635 kilometers is my diameter. I'm 20,000 Varuna, a large trans Neptunian object in the Kuiper belt. I dwell in possible dwarf, but not yet. My elongated shape is due to my rapid. Rotation 668 kilometers is my diameter well spun. I am Ceres, I am a dwarf planet. I'm the largest object in the main asteroid belt to orbit. I am too dim to be seen by the naked eye for sure. I am 946 kilometers in diameter. My name is Senna, I am a minor planet on the run. I'm three times as far as Neptune from the sun. My surface is one of the reddest among the solar system objects. I'm 995 kilometers in diameter, glad we met. My name is Quora, and I'm a dwarf planet candidate. But for now, I'm a non-resonant trans-Neptunian object. I reside in the Kuiper Belt. It's so cold here, burr. And I'm 1110 kilometers in diameter. And I'm 2007 OR10. That name it stood strong with the proposed name in 2019 of Gong Gong. My furthest distance is 9.4 billion miles from the sun. My diameter is 1230 kilometers as I run. Not my Maki, a minor planet I be. I'm perhaps the second largest object in the Kuiper Belt you see. I was discovered in 2005 by a team led by Michael Brown and currently 1430 kilometers in diameter and I'm round. Almea is my name. I'm a dwarf planet by fame. Beyond Neptune's orbit you can find me with some aim. I'm the third largest known trans-Neptunian object. I'm 1632 kilometers in diameter last I checked. My name is Ceres. I am a dwarf planet as well and the second largest dwarf planet in the solar system. How swell. Located beyond the Kuiper belt in a region called the Scattered Disk. My diameter in kilometers is 2326. I'm Pluto. I'm a big deal as the largest dwarf planet. I used to be the ninth planet in the solar system till I quit. I am part of the cold and lonely Kuiper belt. My diameter is 2376 kilometers, so I tell. We're astronomical objects brought to you here by size. Some within Neptune's orbit, others trans Neptunian we fly. 
We're astronomical objects brought to you here by size. We all orbit the sun that may come as some surprise. We're Alpha Centauri, the closest star system to the solar system your Earth is from. Alpha Centauri is a triple star system. We're 4.37 light years away from your sun. We're Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, which forms a pair of stars called binary. Alpha Centauri A officially Rigel Centaurus. Alpha Centauri. Centauri B officially Toliman, I trust. Centauri C officially Proxima Centauri. Here we'll learn about our size and our luminosity. Alpha Centauri A and B are sun like stars. We're the brightest stars in the constellation Centaurus by far. Alpha Centauri A has 1.1 times the mass and 1.5 times the luminosity of the sun in this class. Alpha Centauri Centauri B is smaller and cooler, you should know. At 0.9 times the sun's mass and 0.4 the luminosity shown. We orbit around a common center or around one another so you'd understand better. With an orbital period of almost 80 years by far. And from a distance we're so close we look like one star. I'm Proxima Centauri, a small and faint red dwarf star. You cannot see me with the naked I though I'm the closest star by far I'm about 4.24 light years from the earth and I'm the closest star to the Sun for what that is worth discovered in 1915 by astronomer Robert Eins I'm sure in South Africa at the Union Observatory in Johannesburg my Latin name Proxima Centauri means when this is defined the nearest star of Centaurus that's all that's assigned we're Alpha Centauri the closest star system to the solar system your Earth is from. Alpha Centauri is a triple star system. We're 4.37 light years away from your sun. We're Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, which forms a pair of stars called binary. Alpha Centauri A officially Rigel Centaurus. Alpha Centauri B officially Toliman I trust Centauri C officially Proxima Centauri. Here we'll learn about our size and our luminosity. Let's learn about the lunar eclipse. It's when the moon darkens as it passes into the Earth's shadow. Please don't miss this. Let's learn about the lunar eclipse. The Earth passes between the moon and the sun till the Earth's shadow I kiss. I'm the moon, you can see me. Day or night, when you look into the sky, I'm the Earth's natural satellite. You may be asking yourself, what's a lunar eclipse? It's when the Earth passes between the moon and sun like this. When the sun hits the Earth, the Earth casts a shadow upon me. We'll learn about the shadows, names, and the stages of the eclipse. You will see the penumbras, a partially shaded outer region of the shadow cast by an opaque object like the Earth, not letting the light pass. The umbra is the fully shaded area you see here caused by the opaque object Earth not letting any light pass there. There are seven stages to this event you will see caused by the penumbra and umbra. You'll learn these names with me. Stage one is the penumbra. It's when I enter the penumbra here and a partial shadow is cast on my surface over there. Stage two is a partial eclipse when the Earth moves between the sun and the moon bit more casting more of a shadow upon me the total eclipse is the name of stage three it's when the earth blocks the rays of the sun completely the maximum eclipse is stage four you may see me turn a reddish color this is the middle of the total eclipse to me there is no other stage five is called the total eclipse and it's when i touch the umbra internally once again stage six is called the partial and it's when the moon leaves the umbra moving to the penumbra again the penumbral eclipse end is the final stage you see it's when the moon leaves the penumbra and the sun shines itself on me let's learn about the lunar eclipse it's when the moon darkens as it passes into the earth shadow please don't miss this let's learn about the lunar eclipse the earth passes between the moon and the sun till the earth's shadow I kiss let's learn about
25 Can create Also known as Jansen I'm a super earth you see I'm an exoplanet In the orbit of my host Star named Copernicus Here's what they know about me This fart I was discovered in the month of August On the 30th day In the year of 2004 I convey I was nicknamed the diamond planet Due to research that suggests I have a carbon rich composition Underneath my surface I was discovered by a female astronomer She goes by the name of Barbara MacArthur The detection method used by astronomers To find me is a method called Radial Velocity My host star G-type star similar to your sun You know I'm .01544 AU from my star's glow My name is 55 Can create Also known as Jansen I'm a super earth you see I'm an exoplanet In the orbit of my host star Named Copernicus Here's what they know about me this far My mass is about 8.08 that of the earth I take .7 days to complete One orbit of my star for that's worth. I belong to the constellation called Cancer. Here is an example of what it looks like. Of this, I am sure. In 2016, in the month of February, NASA's Hubble telescope detected two gases on me. Those gases were hydrogen and helium, with hints of hydrogen cyanide. Well, it was on its run. I am tidally locked, just like your moon. That means I have. Size comparison for you live We'll look at each planet Measured by their radius here There are so many planets That will appear I am Ceres I am felt As the largest object In the asteroid belt I am Orcus To be direct I'm a trans-Neptunian object I'm known as Sedna, if you can stand it I'm a large minor planet I am Quor, you may respect As a trans-Neptunian object My name's kind of funny, it's Maki Maki I am a dwarf planet, yeah that's me Haumea is my name, I'm six in line with fame A dwarf planet, yeah we're not all the same My name is Eris, I am a dwarf planet The most massive dwarf in your system yet You know me as Pluto I was a planet, but now dwarf, you know. I hope the IAU puts me back as a planet, though. Who's Kepler-37B? Wait a minute, that's me. An extrasolar planet that you now see. I am Mercury, the second hottest as I'm spun. I'm in your solar system, closest planet to your sun. Come visit this planet so far to learn all about Mars I'm the 10th largest planet but not really in charge My name is Venus for 
what that is worth I'm almost the same size as your beautiful earth I'm the earth on this planetary run Please take care of me I'm the planet you all live on Proximus Centauri B, I'm the planet you see An exoplanet in a habitable zone, you'd agree Have you heard about me? Kepler 10B is my name I have a rocky surface, I'm amazing, some do claim My surface is a furnace, I'm Coro 7B 489 light years from the Earth, that's me Neptune centers Earth's size in my atmosphere's methane, hydrogen, and helium And I'm the most distant from our burning sun I'm Uranus, the planet seven from the sun Yet I'm blue with 13 rings, I'm sure we have met You know me as Saturn with rings, this is true I have the most moons in the solar system, now 82 I'm Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system I am the fifth planet from the sun I'm an extrasolar planet, this is 51 Pegasi B Some think my atmosphere contains water that we may see I am a planet, my name's Gliss 876D An extrasolar planet up in this mix, that's me I'm named HT 100546B I am designated the largest known planet you see we are some planets, all different in size Here's our planetary size comparison for you live We'll look at each planet, measured by their radius here There are so many planets that will appear